Welcome back guys, it's been a long time but I'm excited for another episode. I'm going to get to know Clemens Caldella, known as Sea Dog, a lot better than I know him already. And we're in my home country of South Africa for this episode because he basically makes this his off-season training ground. You guys know the event Darkfest, he is one of the men behind that event. Comes here for weeks on end to build it and then he's got to test the jumps and then put on performance for all you guys at home. He's from Austria, he's 30 years old, and I can't wait to see what makes him tick. How's it going? Good, man, how are you doing? Yeah. You're back in your second home. Exactly. I like this country, it's a pee like a time always. <laughs> yeah. And you've been building a bunch? Yes, actually, yes. I'm always building. I like building as much as I like riding. So this time, this trip, I actually, I came down to Hell's End um, to help uh, build a new big line on the Hell's End compound. That's what I've been doing the last uh, two weeks, actually. And now we are here today, and I'm looking forward to sharing some dirt jumps with you. A free ride mountain bike and now where did that come from and what inspired you to do that? I was inspired by a video which was called Cranked Free and I was shredding it so hard when I was 12 until the cassette was broken. Since then I wanted to do big mountain free ride. Where I live it's not so big mountain free ridey so I ended up being a dirt jumper and then later on I started free ride mountain biking actually. And what was like some of the biggest challenges? Because you just had dirt jumps to ride. So how did you get to the point that you're at Darkfest? I mean, these jumps are the biggest in the world and you come from dirt jumps, which are known as small jumps. You know? Yeah, yeah. basically like I always wanted to do it. So every opportunity I had when I was in the mountains, when there was some big bikes around, I always rode it. And then actually with all the nines gave me the platform where I, Sam was there and he was like, oh, I can see you're pretty handy with machines pretty handy with big bikes, why don't you come to Darkfest? And I was like, yep, yeah, let's do it. And that was uh, the, the turning point for me. And the rest is history. Now I've been coming for years on end. You, what motivates you more, the building or the riding of these things? I like building as much as I like riding. And for Darkfest, the, the challenge is to build everything so precise that uh, no one gets hurt on the big, on the big jumps. And, but then, yeah, once the building is done, you have to ride it and get the extra stokes. Yo! What a line, oh, fuck! The <laughs> end time on the hip, man! Oh, it's insane! I'd like to show you some of my trails because I know you've done a lot of Stellenbosch, but uh, I've got a few hidden gems around Western Cape and South Africa. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. How are we going to ride this trail? This is here on the property. Oh, yeah, definitely good to be down here. Never been at your guys' bike shop, actually. Have you been? Never been in this bike shop, yeah. That was 2008. 2008. How bad is that? And you were rolling on Kenya. Hey, yeah, man. I knew it back then, and I know it now. Go. Look at that. And all the dust went straight into my eyes.
done a bit of Helderberg, which is obviously close to my heart. But uh, even funnier, I thought, to bring Sea Dog to one of the oldest downhill tracks in the country. I raced here as a teenager, which is a million years ago. It should be good to get on the downhill bike. Come on. Can't Definitely. just ride a trail bike, you know, yeah. as a big bike rider. Definitely, yeah. It. yeah. I'm excited, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Is it? Is this Mount the Helderberg where we filmed last time? Yeah, to the right. Because yeah. last time we were standing over there looking over this here. Way. Yeah, yeah. Now we are exact opposite. Cool. Yeah. nice and tidied up. Oh. Worms are smooth, there are some rocks in between. It's a good tour around Cape Town. Why do you come to South Africa? Why? No. Why not? Why not? Yeah, why not? Lots why not? Of, that's a secret. Sea Dog, here's our challenge. It's for both of us. Well, I mean, you're the big jump. Yeah, I can't beat you at jumping. <laughs> I was actually a bit scared because I'm used to jump highways, not rocks. But it's like technical, huh? You have to yeah, you have to pump line, it up, line it up right and, and just get like perfect. And expect angle. to get bucked and everything. Dude. That's, yeah, that's kind of like a World Cup used to be. All right, we just finished up a little downhill session. It was actually cool to show him where, where I used to race, and it's nice to see him on like downhill trails, a bit more technical than the jumps. We're gonna go see, speaking of jumps, to see if Potato Trails is running and hopefully there's no wind. Snack, you want some snack? Okay. okay. We have a quiet day in the evening, so we are, we are frothing, but it's not an ideal situation at the moment, eh? Yeah, blows my mind. Ah, she's my lover. He's got his downhill pants on, but he did a free ride flip, first go. What motivates you? I'm hearing that you want to try to get into Rampage as a goal of yours? For me, I always need new challenges. And uh, yeah, Rampage has always been on the radar for me, but for many years I was like, mm, I don't know if this is for me or not. The last Rampage I was there with Simon Gottsek, I helped him build, so I wanted to see everything and build a shred shovel for a week straight. And yeah, I really liked it, so I'm, I'm gonna try to get into it. Yeah. The one? Uh, mass. A mass? Yeah. Like yeah, they like mass there, but I heard you like half pints or something like that. This shows about you. <laughs> this shows about you. <laughs>